Hi guys, my name is Quentin, and today we're going to be talking about how to create a chassis kit in Tinkercad. So first what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create a new design, and this will bring us to our new workplace. So what we're going to do is we're going to select Edit Grid at the lower right hand corner, and since the channel we're using is longer than 200 millimeters, and we want to have enough room to move it around, we're going to want to change these to about 500 millimeters. We're going to click Update Grid. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to create a U-channel. To begin measuring, you're going to want a dial caliper and the materials you need to build a chassis kit. So I have a 11 hole U-channel right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dial caliper and I'm going to measure the distance between each hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure from this edge to the inside of this hole right here. And that is 153 millimeters. So let's write that down. And then from that hole to here, we have 131 millimeters. We'll uh, have a calculator, we'll add it up, and we get 288 millimeters. So what we're gonna wanna do first is we're gonna do drag a block. And first, let's just start with the length. So we're gonna drag from the back here, and then we're gonna click the dimension to 288 millimeters. Next, we're gonna want to measure the inside. So we're gonna measure from here to here, which is 48 millimeters and it should also be 48 millimeters high, which it is. So we're going to change that dimension. So this will be 48, 48. Right there. Okay. So now what we're going to want to do is we need to measure the thickness of the U-channel. And the thickness is 2.5 millimeters. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to drag another cube and for this one we're going to do a little bit smaller since the edges are 2.5 millimeters we need to deduct 5 millimeters from the overall size change the dimensions to uh, so 48 millimeters minus 5 so we're going to do 43 by 43 we're going to just drag this to where it's a little bit longer than the overall length and we're going to select the whole tool so this whole tool will allow it to be hollow on the inside to look more like a U-channel. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold shift and click both of these and we're going to align them together. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this one and we're going to move it this way a little bit. So now what we do is we group these two together and now you have a basic U-channel. So we're going to copy and paste and then we're going to rotate them uh, the way you have your uh, robot design. So I'm going to rotate this one 90 degrees this way, 90 degrees this way. So now we're going to drag these apart a little bit. And now we're going to do the same thing we did to the first one. We're going to measure your other size channel. So this one is a 13 hole, and this one is going to be 408 millimeters long. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this again and paste it and then what we're going to do is we're going to change the length of this one so this one is going to be 408 millimeters long so we're going to do the same thing and duplicate so this one will go on well, rotate it this way and this one will be rotated this way now let's drag these out of the way next we're going to align these together Alright, so what we're going to do next is we're going to drag these and bring them together. So we're going to bring this one right here, like so. This one will go here. And this one will go here. So now that you have your frame built, we're going to select each U-channel and we're going to group them together. So now this is one solid object and when you move it around it will all move together. So next up we are going to build the wheels. So right here I have a wheel and the first thing we need to do is we need to measure the diameter. So the diameter of my wheel is 96 millimeters. So let's drag this off to the side and let's pull a cylinder in here. So first off we need to change the dimensions to 96 by 96 and then we need to measure the thickness so the thickness of this wheel 
is about mm, 32 millimeters. So what we're going to do is we need to increase the height to 32 millimeters just like that. So now we have a basic frame of a wheel and first we need to uh, before we put it onto the chassis we need to measure the depth of the inside of this wheel. So first what we're going to do is on the back end of your dial caliper you're actually going to put the back end flush to the wheel and then you're going to bring it out. And this will allow you to get the depth. So the depth of the inside is 16 millimeters by 76. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make another cylinder that's 76 in diameter and then also 16 millimeters high. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise this up a little bit to match the wheel and this is going to be a hole. So what we're going to do is we're going to select these two and we're going to align them together. So like this and then like this. So then we select both of them. Again, we're going to group them. And now we have a basic wheel. So we need to put a hole for the motor. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another hole like this and the hole on the inside is 14 millimeters by 14 millimeters. And then we're going to align these together again. So the center to the center. And then we'll group them together. So now we have a basic wheel. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to rotate the wheel upwards 90 degrees. And next we're going to align it with the side of our chassis. Line. Oh. So if that does that, just move it out to the side, just like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this, and we're going to put it at the bottom in all four corners. All right. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to group everything together. And so what we're going to do now is, uh, as you can see, it changed the color to the same color what the chassis kit was. So what we're going to have to do is we'll select it, uh, go to multicolor and that will change the color of it to its original parts. So uh, that's how you build a chassis kit in Tinkercad. I challenge you all to go through, make the go build a whole patterns and uh, go from there. Challenge yourself, make it look interesting. And uh, that's all for this video.